We have a scam warning for you tonight. You're being asked to be on the lookout for a scammer posing as a rep for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Toledo. Chase Bachman talked with a rep for the real Boys and Girls Clubs tonight. So Chase, what are they saying about this scam? Well, Mel, the Boys and Girls Club is letting people know about a man going door to door asking for donations. The problem is it's a scam and club leaders say this isn't the first time. Billy Mann remembers a time almost 10 years ago when a man claiming to be with the Boys and Girls Club came to his home asking for donations. The problem was Mann actually works for the Boys and Girls Club. They, they came to the wrong household uh, and, it, and they, they learned that mistake pretty pretty quickly. But, you know, it's, it's difficult. It's a real shame. Fast forward to today and a new scam is popping up in Ottawa Hills. Man says ring doorbell images show a man going door to door asking for donations to the group. Man says the Ottawa Hills Police Department says the man already stole several hundred dollars from an unsuspecting family. We hate to see that happen, especially when we've, we've got a lot of need here at the Boys and Girls Clubs. Uh, to see that taken from, from the community is a real shame. Man says the Boys and Girls Club never goes door to door asking for donations and never will. I, I would be surprised if, if many uh, causes choose to do door-to-door -door philanthropy these days. It's just definitely not an efficient way to do so. Man says if you're ever suspicious of someone claiming to be from a not-for-profit organization, there are ways of verifying who they are. I usually just ask for identification, ask for a name, uh, and then I would say, you know, call, give, give the organization a call. Uh, whomever they're soliciting for, give them a call uh, and ask if this is indeed uh, what, what, what they're going out to do and how they're getting donations. We reached out to the Ottawa Hills Police for an update in this case and are waiting to hear back. Reporting live in Ottawa Hills, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.